I'm going to start by, I mean, this movie, I mean, the narrative is incredibly moving. It's a very upsetting film, which means your task is really being the man who is going to make us cry, because in many ways, music is sometimes our, the greatest emotional attachment we have to a film. Yeah. Um, that must be quite a, a pressure, I guess, when you're dealing with such a strong, rich, emotional narrative that you've got this task of enhancing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to enhance the story. I'm trying to enhance the vocabulary of the film. I'm trying to build on what's there and, and make sure that I add rather than detract from what's happening. But, but you know, ultimately, I'm not really um, necessarily setting out to m make people have a specific reaction <laughs> like crying. I, I hope that they, you know, they feel something about the movie and it makes an impact on them. And I think it's an important movie. It's about disability rights activists, but it's also a beautiful story, um, romantic story. Um, it's a true story, and it's a, and it's a story that I think um, you know everyone can engage with. It's a, it's a universal story, um, and I think the characters and you know are, are fantastically played. Um, you know, by uh, by Andrew Garfield and Claire Foy. I think they did an incredible job of doing that and bringing out who they, who who those characters are. So it it wasn't hard to find a way in. You know, by watching these these incredible performances, really. And one of the kind of constants in the movie is that sound of the breathing machine constantly. It's almost kind of yeah. suffocated because you, you can't escape it in the same way the characters can't. Yeah. Did you have to take that into consideration doing your music that you're always going to have this kind of psh, psh, yeah. sound going on in the yeah. background? I think that works really well. It's it's kind of um, it's kind of like a a dark kind of you know uh, observer witness to everything that's happening, and it's kind of it, it, it's almost like it, it is living, breathing kind of entity, you know. And and at the same time, it's you know, it's his, it's his support. It's what, what keeps him alive. So in that way, it's kind of, it's a double-edged sword. And, and it's this almost a, a bitter sweetness to the movie that kind of is epitomized by, by the breathing machine, by the respirator. So I think, you know, I think that's very important to have an awareness of that when you're scoring the movie too. Yeah. You've worked with Andy before. It was a video game you sort of worked yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, well, it's, I'm assuming you must have a very kind of strong... Uh, uh, relationship with each other in the sense that you've collaborated more than once and you're collaborating with each other again what yeah. is it about Andy that just keeps uh, drawing you back well Andy's first of all a great human being but he's he's also a brilliant director incredibly creative person um, you know to the extent that he actually plays saxophone on on the opening montage of this film and really well I mean he's a, he's, he's a, got an incredible musical intuition as well as a directorial uh, intuition um, very intelligent man uh, great human being you know and that that's my my point is it's always inspiring to work with people you really like and and who have an incredible vision and and you know what he's brought out in this journey of a film is is fantastic I mean I, I enjoy watching the film every time I've seen it and uh, and it moves me every time so. and of course uh, you are working with again on the jungle book yeah. I and mean, what's that what can we expect from that particular kind of score because in, in a sense that I mean uh, it, obviously tonally we're all fascinated about how this jungle book is going to yeah. be approached because obviously yeah. we had the Disney one recently we had yeah. that enchanting uh, very much in line with the animation we all knew yeah. so I was just wondering how we can what we can expect tonally from from the forthcoming movie Andy is a, is a very real very authentic human being in that he he really uh, feels everything from his gut and and you know I think with uh, with this version of Jungle Book that he's doing it's it's got this um, it draws you in it's visceral it's real you know and and from that point of view you know it's not there's nothing saccharine about it or, or over sentimentalized or or too you know too sweet or or you know it's, it feels like you're with a kid who's actually living this life in the jungle all the performances incredible cast with Christian Bale, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kate Blanchett, Naomi Harris, Frida Pinto. I mean, wow, you know, it's a gift of a movie to score. And they, it's a real ensemble performance, you know, movie as well. So it's for me, it's almost Shakespearean at times. And, and you really feel this kind of sense of, um, uh, of dealing with somebody who's an outsider to society. You know, Mowgli in this film is somebody who's, who's struggling with uh, as coming of age. So I think uh, all of that matters a great deal, and and uh, in in terms of how you build the music. So, and that's what I've been doing. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Much Thank appreciated. You. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.